I'm standing in a uh, soybean field in early October and as you can see it's still fairly green it's starting to senesce a lot of the leaves are starting to get yellow but also as you look at the foliage you'll see that it's quite tattered the top leaves have a lot of holes in them there's been a lot of feeding in here by bean leaf beetle a common insect in Indiana fields every year a uh, constant uh, resident of Indiana soybeans and usually over this year uh, we're getting more reports of bean leaf beetle feeding on the marketable part of the crop, the pods. And as we look through some of these beans, we'll see that in particular the top part of, uh, of the bean plant, pods near the top of the plant, are being fed upon. By the pod quickly scars over. It's usually a brown, a light brown to dark brown scarring that happens where the bean leaf beetle has fed. Immediately after the beetle feeds, that's a light green color and it gets darker with age. So the reason I point that out is because when you're looking for these beetles, it's important that they're still actively feeding. Once you open up these pods, you'll see the feeding on the outside does not necessarily indicate damage on the inside. Uh, you can see that in this case, there was a lot of damage done to the outside of the pod. The inside, that seed had no visible symptom. There's a pod I removed right from the top of a bean plant, and you can see three scars here, the largest one right at the tip, and then two others as you go toward uh, the, the base of the pod where it attaches to the plant. I'm going to pull that open, and you can see this first seed is rotting, is well on its way to being completely rotten. Second one is in an earlier stage of, of decay, but still you can see the effects of feeding. The question to ask here is how much of the marketable what fraction of the marketable pods are being attacked. And the first thing you'll notice when you walk through a field that even has a lot of bean leaf beetle on it is that the top pods, the small, thin, um, least marketable pods are the ones that are mostly being attacked. For considering bean leaf beetle treatments is to determine that they're in the field and actively feeding. Uh, and there are a couple prerequisites before you're going to do that. The first is you have to ensure you're going out when they're active. So that's the warmest part of the day. Uh, the cool nights cause the beetles to be uh, late risers, so to speak. So it won't be until after lunch, say, that they're active and feeding in the canopy and moving around. Uh, it's probably 75 or 80 degrees right now. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, there should be a lot of bean leaf beetles active if, in fact, they're in this field. And you can look for them one of two ways. One is just to walk the field and just observe slowly uh, what's happening, take a look at a few pods, look for active pod and leaf feeding. Again, you can see these leaves are turning yellow. They'll move to the pods after that. The pods become more attractive when the leaves are not palatable, when they're yellow. And the other thing you can do is use the handy sweep net and you will get lots of beetles in a relatively short time. You'll see there's one there and this ivory color is probably the most common. Uh, there are different patterns of, of blotches and spots on the back, but if you look right behind the head, you'll see a dark colored inverted triangle and that means the base of the triangle is up beside the head end and the point of the triangle points back toward the tip of the abdomen. No matter what color you have you will see that black triangle. So these beetles are here in this particular field simply because it's green. Uh, it's a warm sunny day. Uh, they're taking advantage of what few days there are left that, that, uh, that are like that to feed on uh, some of this foliage and pods and get their winter reserve stocked up because as the day length gets shorter uh, they begin to be they begin to initiate their overwintering behavior which is look for shelter crawl under it and wait it out through the winter they overwinter as adults uh, seed treatments um, although they're efficacious against bean leaf beetle and other insects early in the year at this point are completely gone so in other words if you had insecticide treated seed implanted in this field there's no more insecticide in this foliage and pods now uh, than there is in an untreated uh, bean seed. There's a pre-harvest interval to consider as well. So you cannot, for example, uh, treat the beans this week and harvest them 10 days from now. Uh, there's generally a pre-harvest interval of um, 21 days is a, is a number that applies to many of our efficacious compounds for bean leaf beetle.